What's going on guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I'm going to be doing my third LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens set review on Poe's X-Wing Starfighter. And the set number for this one is 75102, the recommended ages are 8 through 14, and it has a piece count of 717, while the price point is $79.99. And uh, this is the one and only set that you can get Poe Dameron in, and it's the second set you can get BB-8 in. And of course you've got Poe's personalized, I'm guessing it's personalized anyway, uh, his personalized Home Depot X-Wing fighter, and uh, this set for 80 bucks is a little steep and that's the problem with the Force Awakens sets. They're just marked up so bad so hopefully this review will help you in deciding if you want to actually pick up this set or not. I mean it's got some fantastic minifigures and the design of the X-Wing is great but is it worth 80 bucks? Ultimately of course it's up to you but I'll get into all the reasons just as to why you should or shouldn't pick up this set. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay so the minifigures in this set are absolutely awesome. The lineup we get are just so amazingly well done. You're not going to hear a lot of criticism coming out of me because Poe Dameron here, who is exclusive to this set actually, especially Poe, is just amazing. I mean, you've got the new X-Wing pilot helmet for The Force Awakens, this one being his personalized black one with all the silver, white, red printing all over it, and uh, you've even got the Resistance logo on the top right corner, and you've, you've even got it on the uh, the left side of it here too. You've got some Arabesh uh, printed onto this side here as well, onto the left, and I haven't taken the time to translate it, but you can if you'd like. Uh, you've got a little mic printed onto this side which is a really nice touch and if we go ahead and remove this new helmet we've even got a trans yellow visor as part of it I mean this entire helmet is just so accurate it is so solid looking and it, it, it is it is just honestly perfect um, and if there's one thing Lego really has gotten right for the most part with the Force Awakens sets Han Solo and General Hux from those sets excluded are likenesses to actors I mean look at that face that is Oscar Isaac it looks amazing I mean the eyebrows uh, the smile, I mean, you've even got the facial hair all looking so accurate to the way he's going to look in the movie. I'm just, I've, I've just been so impressed with how Lego has been able to really nail the likenesses for all these iconic characters that are going to be in The Force Awakens because usually sometimes on like superhero sets, for instance, they skimp out. But uh, The Force Awakens, they did not. These heads are amazing. And uh, if we go ahead and uh, turn this head around, actually, you can see we have the alternative facial expression. Uh, this one, I guess, being more aggressive and uh, almost slightly confused looking. But yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, put the helmet back on top of that and uh, you can see that we do have the incredibly new uh, like and super awesome X-Wing pilot suit that he's wearing and this time Lego has adapted it you know to be uh, had to have this like new um, a dark orange color I mean obviously dark orange is not a new color but having it for X-Wing pilots that's new and it looks amazing I mean just look at that torso that is so detailed you got the resistance logo on that as well the pack that's on the front the tubing the straps everything about it it is so awesome I know I'm really gushing over this minifigure but but it's really worth gushing over because it's just so great and obviously you've got the separation problem that all uh, minifigures with belt printing have and it doesn't you know connect from the torso to the belt but that's okay at this point honestly and uh, the leg printing is also really great and uh, extending all the way down yes it doesn't go over to the side but I would imagine given how long these sets must have been in production uh, the recently you know the, the new side leg printing that we saw in superhero sets maybe that wasn't you know ready to go yet and that's why we don't have side leg printing on these minifigures but it's fine because honestly these minifigures are really great he's got a standard pistol and here's Here's a continuation of what you saw on the front, on the back. Also incredibly detailed. This entire minifigure is incredibly detailed and really accurate. And the likeness to Oscar Isaac is just a huge plus. This is honestly a flawless minifigure. The standard Resistance X-Wing pilot is also a really amazing minifigure. He's got one small nitpick of a problem, which I'll point out, but I should point out, actually, that the torso and legs are exactly the same as the ones you just saw. He's got the exact same suit as Poe, but still, once again, amazing torso and amazing pair of legs. Same can be said for the back. It's all awesome, and the design is great, but his helmet is actually uh, molded in a white color. You can see right there, you've got uh, Arabesh on this side as well, along with the, like, the same Resistance logo, but this time in an orange color and the detail the mic is there as well again you've got the resistance logo in the in the, the top right corner of his helmet too um, so pretty much this is basically like just an inverse of Poe's helmet uh, but I guess Poe has to be special so he made his black and adjusted a few of the colors but I mean once again the printing and the level of detail on this helmet is amazing and and, and also again the uh, trans yellow visor is also just it, it just really tops it off this helmet is perfect um, but now this is the only problem really and this is a problem that I mean I'm going to mention for the 
rest of the reviews just because it is unfortunate. Um, LIGO seem to have struggled with, they seem to have struggled with the first order Stormtrooper heads and the uh, heads for like the standard resistance uh, characters. And I mean, and not even that, but you see this head on the uh, the first order crew member in the Kylo Ren's command shuttle. You see this head on the uh, resistance crew or like the resistance uh, like attackers that are in the uh, first order transport. You've got it on this uh, X-Wing pilot. LIGO really abused this head uh, in the for the Force Awakens sets. And it's unfortunate, uh, you know, that they use so many of these and that they couldn't have made different heads for each character. But I mean, it, it, it's totally, I mean, with a helmet like this and printing like this and, and likeness to an actor that you saw on Poe, I mean, I really can't complain. I, it, it's a, it, this is still an awesome minifigure. Our Resistance ground crew member is also a really awesome minifigure. Problem being, I don't know what the heck he actually looks like in the movie, and I don't know what the heck I'm actually supposed to actually, you know, be commenting on here. Um, other than the printing that LEGO has done here looks amazing, and just like the X-Wing pilots, he's got his own entirely new helmet mold, and it looks amazing. I mean, no idea what it's going to look like in the film. I'm sure it'll look just like this, but uh, this is an entirely new piece molded in olive green color with a ton of uh, printing on it, orange wrapped around in white with even a little bit of black on the top of it as you can see there some silver vents on uh, this side of it here as well which I mean you know it, it's a really cool looking helmet I can't really comment on it because uh, we haven't seen it yet but I'm sure Lego did a fantastic job removing the head though or the helmet uh, you can see the head and the head I can't really comment on this either I mean I don't really recognize the species I mean maybe it's something new maybe it's not maybe some of you guys have done your early Force Awakens research on Wikipedia and you can let me know um, but I mean regardless of the printing on this head looks amazing Lego even printed a nose on which I guess I should uh, is worth pointing out um, it looks really cool. The same can be said for the torso. And by the way, I should point out, I really do like the shading work that's on the head. It looks really cool. Um, but yeah, the torso is really cool. Very, I mean, basic for the most part, uh, but I'm sure it's still effective. He's got like a vest that he's wearing with some straps and the utility belt. Um, and the back of the torso is a little bit more simplistic. And uh, you do not actually even have the continuation of the belt on this side. So I'm guessing it's not a regular belt that he'll have in the movie, this uh, Resistance ground crew member. And then the leg printing is really awesome as well. The leg printing, uh, I, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's simple compared to minifigures like what you just saw Poe and uh, the X-Wing pilot, but I mean, it still looks really cool and uh, surprisingly, for the most part, very consistent going from the thigh down to the knee area. So, I mean, overall, this minifigure is really, really awesome and he's got a wrench, by the way, because he's basically, I guess, supposed to be one of the guys that uh, is repairing the X-Wings as they're coming in and uh, going out. So, yeah, I really don't know what this character is going to look like in the movie. I'm sure LEGO did a great job because he looks like a really awesome minifigure. And finally, BB-8, our new iconic droid for The Force Awakens and I already talked about him the day before yesterday in the Millennium Falcon review, but if you didn't catch that, I'll say the same things that I said in that review here. And uh, I mean, BB-8 only comes in this set and the Millennium Falcon, which I find to be a little disappointing for those of you who really want to have your, you know, you, you know, your duo of Rey and uh, BB-8, because those two clearly look like they're going to be tight in the movie. So I mean, uh, you know, not having him in Rey Speeder is a little bit of a different situation I'll talk about in that review. But I mean, I uh, just figured I'd mention it anyway. But BB-8, oh my God, Lego did an, um, they just did such an awesome job with our new little droid and uh, they created uh, two entirely new pieces just for him and uh, they are great but before we actually I, I separate the two pieces you can look at the uh, dome here and the dome I mean the printing that wraps around the entirety of it is just so awesome so detailed and so accurate it just looks really really perfect and uh, the actual body itself like the ball piece that Lego has going on here uh, you can see that it actually has unique printing on all four sides you've got like the same orange rim I mean those are the same but aside from that like all the designs within them are all unique because uh, obviously that being accurate to BB-8 as well. Um, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, split him in two now to see so you can see the two uh, new parts. And uh, they are really, really cool looking. I mean, you can pretty much see how they attach. It's very basic, but uh, great that LEGO, uh, you know, put together th these uh, two parts for uh, our new droid. It's, 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 I mean, LEGO just did such a great job. And uh, I, I mean, I've like I said, the lineup of minifigures in this set are all fantastic and there really is not a lot to criticize. LEGO just did a excellent job on all of them, but uh, uh, finally, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Poe's X-Wing itself. All right, so Poe's X-Wing. I mean, I should just say right now, it's an X-Wing. It, yes, it's the Force Awakens X-Wing, but it is an X-Wing, so it has pretty much the same features you would expect from it and uh, really nothing else. So, I mean, but that's fine because it is a new design and it is Poe's, you know, personalized X-Wing from what we understand so far. So, I mean, this is great and it's a really good set. It's just for 80 bucks, so, uh, Anyway, but, but uh, before I do discuss the playability features, I do want to talk about the stickers because uh, this one in particular, you would think this entire canopy, this entire cockpit piece would, like, would be like three stickers, but it's actually all printed and it looks amazing and I'm so 
glad that wasn't uh, that those are not stickers because uh, having a printed copy piece is always much better than having to put stickers on it because uh, it just looks better given that it's like the focal point of the vehicle. Um, but yeah, so then on this side here with the, these two wings, you can see we do have uh, a total of three orange stripes, uh, which are all stickers here, here, and here. So uh, that's, uh, you know, you, there are a lot of stickers with this set. You got a sticker here on this 3x4 slope for some added detail. On this 1x4 tile, we have a bunch of uh, white and orange uh, stripes and squares for like some more added detail. And then it's the exact same on the other wing. It just inverted. And then uh, you can see, or I guess you guys should say the other wings. And then on the top here, we have a couple of 2x2 two two discs, uh, which have some more added detail. And those are both stickers there and uh, there. So, I mean, it, it's all just for added detail, which is fine because, hey, the more accuracy, the, the you know, the better. Um, but if we go ahead and uh, lift up the cockpit, which is just attached to a couple of clips, very basic design, you can see in there we actually do have a clip. And, uh, yeah, so speaking of clips, we can go ahead and uh, take the uh, pistol for uh, Poe and put it right there, which is great because I cannot tell you how much I hate it when we don't have places to put the minifigures accessories and they're just lying around or they get lost. So, I mean, I think it's great that, that they uh, managed to, like, put in a little clip there for uh, Poe's pistol because it, it fits into the set seamlessly. And inside, unlike uh, Kylo Ren's command show, you can see there's actually a chair for the minifigure and it's, it's a dark blue gray chair and uh, before I do put uh, Poe in there though you can see that there is actually another uh, sticker right here which is the control panel piece and uh, I guess that's just supposed to be like the radar and you know whatever Poe is seeing through that uh, screen and it looks really detailed and really awesome I gotta say I actually applied it fairly well and uh, so that's kind of nice because usually I'm terrible at applying stickers um, but you can see there is actually a control stick there too so I guess you can kind of reenact that one scene uh, for instance from uh, the original uh, Force Awakens teaser where you see Poe you know, po for the first time briefly but uh, yeah then you just put him right there on uh, the chair and the cockpit closes over just fine and it's really uh you know it's fully functional but then uh where do we put bba well it's pretty much the exact same as any other x-wing ex except obviously bba bba is significantly smaller so the uh design for how you uh, put him in the top is significantly more simple and you can see it's basically just a two by two or uh, yeah just a two by two jumper plate that's really all it is and uh, then you just go ahead and uh, stick bba right on that and uh he's in that's it there's really nothing else there's no like ejecting mechanism i should mention like you know you do we, we see sometimes for uh, sets like this and like Jedi Starfighters for instance he's just stuck on that stud which is fine I mean he fits in you know perfectly and it's it works great you can see there's actually one bit of landing gear right here on the bottom which just folds up with some basic hinges uh, just like so and uh, the way you're supposed to position it to get it to like you know really uh, work is it's supposed to go all the way down and then this is supposed to like be folded you know like the actual foot is supposed to be folded all the way to the sides pretty much just like that to make that L shape at 90 degree angle and then it you know it, it uh, it's it's you know it sits down on a flat surface perfectly and uh, yeah then I should also mention that there is a uh, sticker right uh right that's not a sticker never mind that looked like a sticker it's not never mind i, I didn't say anything um you can see on the back we do have the engines and uh, the engines are uh, using some trans pink uh cones before them which which looked really awesome they actually utilize some rubber bands for the main functionality of this set and that functionality being you can see this knob on the top and uh this knob is what opens the wings so you pretty much can turn it whichever way you want and the wings will open just like so by use of the, some technique and the rubber bands and uh so you just pretty much give it a you know you just twist it a little bit and the wings come open but i gotta say it's a little abrupt i mean like this is not really a nitpick i mean it works fine and there's no like there's no problem it's fully functional it's just uh, i i couldn't help but you know tell you guys and point it out that it is a little abrupt when like you open and close it um you know it's not like a smooth transition which is fine i mean you know that's not a problem it's just i figured out to point it out um so yeah it's kind of it's kind of like really like harsh and sudden when you uh, turn the knob but it's okay um you can see like you've got the main guns on this on the edges of each wing as well and you've also got these stud shooters all uh, right i guess i already got i actually didn't even point out the stud shooters did i you got the stud shooters on the side you guys know how stud shooters work you got a stud shooter here and a stud shooter here right next to pose cockpit and you guys know that they work you just push down the lever and the stud goes firing as i pull an extra stud from my extra pieces pile even though it looks like we don't actually get an extra red stud for the extra pieces so i guess i'll just take one from chewbacca's bowcaster from the millennium falcon if it'll just come out for me real quick and uh, yeah problem solved anyway yeah so speaking of spring loaded shooters you do actually have some you have uh, one on each wing so i guess we'll go ahead and fold the wings uh, out a little bit uh you'll get them in there and you know in flight mode again and by the way once again you get uh, two rubber bands that's how this whole thing works it's, and that's how they uh the entire mechanism comes together is by use of two rubber bands on each uh side but um yeah so the uh split, the, these there are a couple of spring loaded shooters on the edge of each wing and you guys know how uh, spring loaded shooters work you just go ahead and push down on them and they go firing and uh, you lose them and they go across the room so yeah uh pretty basic design but uh, very effective and it's uh all, all in all this this x-wing is a 
fully functioning set with no problems. And I really like the design work, like right here using these arch pieces. I, it's really cool. Lego incorporated those pieces. And I, honestly, I kind of expected they would. But uh, yeah, so aside from that, like I said, that's really it for uh, Poe Dameron's personal X-Wing Starfighter. Or at least I think it's going to be his personal X-Wing Starfighter. We don't actually know yet. And it was kind of, it's kind of hard to see in the, you know, the existing footage that we do have from the teasers and trailers and all those things. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it uh, for the X-Wing Starfighter itself. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, little, uh, like, other, like, like the, I guess, like the little, like, carts you get in the ladder uh, that go with it. And uh, you, once I get this freaking spring loader shooter loaded up, there we go. Okay, so Lego officially refers to these as uh, being the access ladder and just the straight up loader. So these is, this thing is pretty much used to like help the uh, X-Wing load up. Uh, so obviously these are like the things you'd see in like the resistance hangar, for instance. Um, but yeah, so pretty much the way it works is uh, you've got a little uh, crate on the uh, front here and inside you've got like a ton of, uh, that's pretty much where the extra studs went for the stud shooters when I had to pull one off of uh, Chewbacca's bowcaster. They were in here and I totally forgot, but uh, on the front of it you actually do have a uh, resistance logo right there, which was pretty much just the Rebel logo, obviously. Um, but yeah, so you go ahead and take the resistance ground crew member and then uh, you get him in a seated position and he's, you know, he sits right there on the three, uh, you know, the, the two by three available space and you can actually take his wrench and because uh, there are four available clips, you can pretty much put any of the accessories that you have in this set left over. So uh, you can take uh, Poe's pistol too and put him on one of these clips. But uh, for now, we're just going to take the uh, the standard X-Wing pilot and the uh, resistance ground crew member's accessories and put them on there. Um, but yeah, you've also got these control, sti control, control sticks right here and uh, right there you can see they're actually a couple of uh, like jumper plates for another minifigure and pretty much like the way that's supposed to work is uh, I actually kind of have it backwards because you're supposed to take the uh, the resistance ground crew uh, member and he's supposed to like pretty much uh, drive it around like this using like the control sticks and then the X-Wing pilot is the one who's supposed to be sitting here um, but yeah that's pretty much how it works it's uh, just a little loader for the X-Wing and it's, it's pretty cool and a nice little accessory to have with this set and it's great for the accessories themselves um, but then yeah then so you've got the access ladder very basic there's really not much to say about it you just uh, it's just a ladder for you you know for playability I guess so you can have Poe uh, get inside the uh, X-Wing without uh, having to be a Jedi. So, I mean, aside from that, though, that's that's really it for uh, the, the entirety of uh, Poe's X-Wing Starfighter. And uh, it's a really awesome set, but is it worth $80? I mean, personally, I would say no. But if you want, you know, if you're okay with that markup, because the minifigures are fantastic, as I already mentioned, and the X-Wing itself, you know, it's a really consistently awesome build. And it's a great design. It's fully functional. It's just, if you want to pay 80 bucks for it, that's totally up to you. You get a great X-Wing, and you get some amazing minifigures. So the choice, it, it, you know, it, it's totally up to you. And uh, so, yeah, hopefully yeah, this, is, this entire review has helped you decide. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the box, instruction manual, extra pieces, and we'll wrap up this video. The box for this $80 set looks more like a box for a $50 set because that's really what this set should have been priced at, I think. But anyway, you can see we've got uh, the X-Wing going over the new, like, snowy planet. And uh, we don't know what this planet actually is because it's not Hoth from what we've heard so far. But uh, I'm not going to spoil. I do know one thing about it that I don't want to actually say in the video. Um, but it sounds like it's going to be a really cool planet in the movie. On the top here, you can see we've got Poe sporting the actual size reference, along with the other three minifigures included with the set. And on the back, we have all the features that I just went over, along with some really nice artwork of the uh, X-Wing Starfighter like actually like uh, docked in uh, this hangar which is pretty cool and aside from that though that's really it and you got an action shot right here as well of the X-Wing also uh, you know above the uh, snow planet so I mean this is a really cool box and uh, definitely pretty effective and hey man look TIE Fighters the instruction manual is uh, actually a 116 page build from what I remember and yeah you can see that number right there actually but I mean toward the end it's really just the exact same thing you already saw in the Falcon and uh, Command Shell review you've got the same features that you already saw in the back of the box and then you've also got uh, the uh, same render checklist of all the minifigures included with this first wave of Force Awakens sets and then you've also got the entire wave uh, itself right there cannot wait to review either Ray Speeder or the First Order Transporter next and uh, then toward the back we've got an advertisement for lego.com slash Star Wars and all new fancy downloadable stuff that uh, it has to offer for The Force Awakens and an advertisement for the X-Wing itself, even though this is the set that you're buying, obviously. Um, so yeah, aside from that, I mean, yeah, it's just really the basic uh, first, uh, you know, the basic Force Awakens instruction manual aren't any like interesting extra pieces you've got a couple of extra red uh spring-loaded shooters pieces but that's it really i mean i guess you've also got this trans pink cone for one of the engines so i mean that's cool but other than that there's really not a lot going on here i mean just you know just your basic uh plates your basic connectors studs uh an antenna you know just your your average lot of extra pieces but i mean aside from that that is it for the entire x-wing for the force awakens pose x-wing starfighter this is a really awesome set it's just uh, i 
I, I would only recommend it if you're willing to pay uh, the markup that uh, obviously Disney and Lego uh, placed on this set. So I mean, yeah, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap up this video. Hey, don't touch that, it'll go back into landing mode. I don't think that guy spoke English. Yeah, I put that together. All right, guys, and there you go. My review on Poe's X-Wing Fighter, one of the better Force Awakens sets, I think. I mean, they're all great, but I mean, the price points are what really, I think, are going to kill a lot of you here. So, I mean, hopefully this review helped you in deciding as to whether or not you want to get this set, because, I mean, if I wasn't in the position to get this set, if you're not in the position to get this set, then I would at least try to get the Poe minifigure, because he is easily the number one leading factor as to why I would, you know, why I would want this set if I uh, didn't, you know, if I wasn't going to review it. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, aside from that though, that's really it for the entire set and uh, the review of it. But if you enjoyed this review, maybe you found it informative, be sure to let me know by dropping this video a like below and or your opinion on the X-Wing Fighter down in the comments as uh, your opinion definitely goes a long way and uh, always means a lot, guys, especially after how much work goes into these. It's just been like, it's just going to be a straight week of me reviewing sets because uh, I, I'm going to be cranking out one a day and the next review will pre either be on Ray's speeder or on the uh, transporter, the, uh, the, uh, the first order transporter. So we'll see. But uh, this set was definitely great to review, and it's it's, it's awesome that, because this is like the one that Lego is using as like their flagship Force Awakens product, it seems, in advertising. But anyway, you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links to all three of those are down in the description below as well. And uh, there I post all kinds of super cool uh, like behind the scenes photos and uh, preview photos of minifigures that I'm working on, such as uh, the entire Force Awakens showcase, which I keep mentioning at the end of every video that I'll be doing at the end of the year. Halo Five Guardians figures next month, Arrow Season Four, Flash Season Two minifigs, a bunch of cool stuff that you'll see over there way before you see it over here. And that's why. I always recommend it but other than that though guys that is it for Poe Dameron's X-Wing Starfighter a really fantastic set for a really steep price so I'll catch you guys later all right Bye. Man, this set is like perfect for brick separators. I'm doing my thirst, thirst. What, 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 what kind of word did I even just exclaim? What kind of name is Poe anyway? My parents were big Teletubbies fans. Okay, black and uh, orange Home Depot Falcon. Falcon, really? Some silver and red paint. So is Home Depot sponsoring us now? Our First Order crew member... <laughs> this guy is not from the First Order. Good lord, if he was, they've got a problem. On Poe's X-Wing Fighter, a really awesome... <sighs>